Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, and welcome back. Um, today I want to do a video on Avid 2021. Um, and using or utilizing the time warp function. Now, this is something that um, is pretty simple, but I like to uh, break down individual tools because I think they're really important to look at individually. Um, you know, when we're using these time warp tools and other tools in conjunction with many others to make your program. But I think time warp is something that can get a little bit confused sometimes, but let's have a look. So we've got a clip on the timeline here. Here we go. Now, let's say that I want to slow that clip down. Okay, so the minute it's playing at 100% speed, let's slow it down. Jump over to effects, and you can see down here in the time warp option, we've got time warp. I'm gonna drag that effect to the clip. Now what I need to do in order to access the parameters of that is to jump into the motion effects editor. And here we go, here it is. Now normally it'll pop up like this, um, but you click on this little speed graph here, and then we can look at the speed graph. Now, let's change this to 50% speed. Okay, now let's have a little look how it plays. There we go. Playing very nicely, 50% speed. There are a few options here that we can look at. Um, uh, we've got the edit speed graph here, the position. Um, we can, if we were using interlace media, we could look at both fields or duplicate the field or interpolate the field or use VTR styles. So the different styles here of how you want to slow that image down. And you can also change whatever your source is. And in the minute I know it's progressive, I know it's not interlaced, so I'm happy with this. Um, over here, you've got a little um, scale or the graticule, so you can move it around. Okay, let's say I want to speed that clip up. Well, okay, let's just grab this line. I'm going to take it up to 200% or down and thereabouts. And there we go. So pretty simple so far. What about if I want to do a speed ramp? Well, we can do that pretty easily. Let's say that we want to start fast and we're going to start at 300%. And we're going to roll into maybe about there. And then we're going to slow down. And this is where the little um, triangular pink icon um, keyframes come in handy. So click on that, generates a, generates a uh, keyframe, and I'm going to drag that down to 100%. Okay, go to the beginning, hit play. And there we go. And we've got a nice smooth speed ramp there. And we could do the same again. We could actually pull this down to 50% speed. Hit play. And there we go. And we could choose, if we wanted to, to reverse this rot. You know, so we could come to about here. And then we could hit another keyframe. Let's pull the keyframe to minus. No, actually to almost minus 100. So when we play this through, we're going to go fast, and then we're going to reverse. Okay, so pretty cool. So what you can have here is you can open up the graph, okay, you can add keyframes, and you can manipulate those keyframes within that graph, which is pretty cool. And also you can change the um, bill's ear spine or, or um, smoothness of the keyframe itself. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.